first got to campus, I attended a student senate meeting. And during that meeting, I was presented with a proposal for a great project. It's for a fallen warriors memorial. And it came about as a result of their interest in honoring the fallen warriors on our campus and recommitting our campus to veterans and service folks everywhere. This is a great opportunity, a great project. I support it fully. The faculty and staff on campus support this project, but more importantly, this is a project by the students, for the students, and will be run by the students. When I first came to Clark State, I was your average, typical, run-of-the-mill student. I'd come to class, do the homework, study, but as soon as the classes were over, I was back out the door. One of my sociology teachers had me join Student Senate and Student Ambassador Program. And so the faculty advisor for that program had actually given me one small little task of come up with ideas for how to reach out to the, the veterans on campus. And that one little push ignited a fire. And one of the things that have, has arised from that is the idea for a Fallen Warrior Memorial. This Fallen Warrior Memorial project is an exciting one for you students. Um, it's taking an idea to celebrate fallen warriors and doing something unique with it. There have been many attempts and many successful designs to celebrate soldiers, fallen warriors. And there have been icons that may be rather tired, in fact, and this is exciting because you can develop something new, something that hasn't been thought of before. The purpose of the Fallen Warrior Memorial is going to be to honor the fallen soldiers, airmen, sailors, and marines. It's going to be Clark State's symbol for their commitment, their recommitment, and their increased level of commitment to their veterans understanding that one of the most important things for a veteran is to honor the fallen. Typically when you're working in design, one of the concepts to begin with is simplicity. Taking the most obvious idea and doing something unique with it. We have a limited budget, however that doesn't mean you can't do something extremely exciting. Think for example, if we're going to be creating this monument out of a sheet of stainless steel, cutting a profile design, or crisscrossing two sheets and creating a three-dimensional effect with two flat sheets of steel. Or what if it's something that's moldable or sculpted um, in clay? That can also be done. That would be translated maybe into fiberglass. Materials need to be used that are going to be durable outside in the weather that'll withstand cleanings in case there's graffiti and that can be scalable, that is materials that are strong if they're eight feet tall, nine feet tall, because in an open space uh, your design is going to have to be fairly large in order to look significant, in order to gain the attention and to have the impact that it needs to have to celebrate fallen warriors. It is going to draw awareness to the sacrifice that veterans are paying for this country. It is also going to start a public art program here at the college. Think in terms of simplicity. Think in terms of what would the obvious be and what can I do that's a little different than the obvious to celebrate fallen warriors. These were real people who lost their lives defending our country, sacrificing everything for us. And so it's got to have tremendous impact. You can do that. You can do it simply and brilliantly if you give it some thought, and I'm excited to see what your ideas are. You must be a Clark State student to submit a design for the Fallen Warrior Memorial. Your design must be an original design. The design may be abstract or realistic, but must clearly portray a memorial to fallen warriors of all military service. The design should be of a singular sculpture unit, this memorial sculpture will be 100% accessible from all sides. Your design should include a front, side, and back view because it is for a three-dimensional sculpture. Keep in mind that the sculpture should fit well in the official location behind the Sarah T. Landis Technology and Learning Center. Create the design in black and white. Make sure the design leaves space to display donor recognition such as on the base or beside the sculpture. 
Only digital submissions will be accepted. Please take a photo of your design or use a scanner to create a digital version of your black and white design drawings. Digital files must be in one of the following formats, JPEG, TIFF, PNG, or PDF. Check your file before submitting. Files that don't open or that are not in the required format will not be considered. Email your final design to Jennifer Deach, Clark State's Director of Marketing. Jennifer's email is deachj at clarkstate.edu. The deadline for submissions is 12 p.m. on Friday, April 11th. Please note that the submitted designs may need to be modified or combined with other submitted designs or undergo final sculptor enhancements to create the final piece. The prizes for the winning design will include a mini sculpture version of the final design and display of the student designer's name on the plaque displayed with the sculpture. The contest will be judged by Anne Fortescue, Executive Director of the Springfield Museum of Art, and Mike Major, owner of Mike Major Sculpture, LLC. And so I want to thank you for your designs, for submitting your design for this project, for getting involved in this project, and for showing your commitment to these veterans as well. I look forward to your participation in supporting this very important project on our campus. Thank you very much.